Hey guys, welcome to my channel Dev Tech Finance and in this video I would try to explain what exactly stock market is and how does it function in a very simple manner. So let's start. Stock market is actually the marketplace where buying and selling of shares is facilitated. So how does this work? Let us take an example of Asia's uh, largest stock exchange that is the Bombay Stock Exchange where about 5439 companies are listed. What does this listed companies mean? Uh, this means that these companies are allowed to generate funds from the public. A company to be a listed company needs to follow some procedure and uh, some rules and regulations are there which they must abide to be, uh, to be listed on the stock market. These companies would then issue shares to the public to generate funds for their business. Now, uh, Issuing shares is like transferring a portion of ownership in the company. So the profits which the company would earn, shareholders would also have the portion in that profit. This happens in the condition of losses as well. Shares are generally issued in denomination. So let's say if the company wanted to generate a fund of rupees 50 lakhs from the public and it kept the price of each share rupees 10. So the number of shares it would issue will be 5 lakhs at rupees 10 each. So someone from the public if wanted to invest rupees 10,000 in the shares, he would be able to buy 1000 shares at rupees 10 each. This way the shares are issued to the public and the required fund is generated. Company then invests these funds to their business and if it earns profit out of it, market price rises and if the loss, the market price of the shares falls. So this is how the market price is determined. And the rise or the fall in the share market price that is indicated on the Sensex which is the index of the Bombay Stock Exchange. So let's have a quick summary. Companies issue shares to generate funds from the public. When they are in the need to make any big investment project and they are not they are running shortages of the funds so they could go to the public and issue their shares, provide them the portion in their companies profit uh, in their company's business and thus they could generate fund from them. Shares provide ownership to the shareholders in the company's profit or loss. The income re received from ownership of shares is referred as dividend. So dividend is given to the shareholders who are holding shares, who are holding some amount of portion, who have uh, given funds to the company's business. So they are rewarded with the dividend. Now dividend is not just one reward. They the shareholders can also gain with the rise in the market price of the share where they could sell their shares at the higher price on which they bought. So just uh, for say if they bought the share at rupees 10 each and now the market price of the share has rised to rupees 13 each. So the difference between that rupees 3 would be the gain to the shareholders. So they could sell that share at that market price and could have their gain. The fund generated is then invested to the business by the company where it might gain or lose. So the fund generated through uh, issuing of shares is invested by the companies in the business and the big projects where it might gain or lose and this would be reflected on the Sensex by showing the rise or fall in the share price. So I hope you understand uh, in a very simple manner what exactly stock market is and how does it function. So thank you for watching. Do like and share my videos. Subscribe to my channel Dave Tech Finance for more such videos. Thank you all.